Hi friends, Bianca Bella here and I'm here to share with you today a fan encounter I had last year. I am not much of a celebrity person, it's not really a huge deal to me. However, there is literally one celebrity I would go to lengths to meet just because I think he's a cool dude and I have been a fan for a really long time. I actually can't pinpoint the exact moment I became a fan, but I know it is roughly around early high school. Um, maybe actually it's earlier than that even um, and I graduated high school over 10 years ago now um, so it's got to be oh my goodness got to be between 12 and 15 years I really don't know the point is I've been a fan for a long time love the dude I was just thinking to myself right now I don't know why I'm being so mysterious and elusive and not naming the person I actually met even though his name is right there in the description. But anyway, I met Shane Helms. So for those of you that don't know, Shane Helms is probably best known as The Hurricane, a former WWE wrestler who is a superhero. Obviously not with the WWE anymore and hasn't been for a number of years, but he is affiliated with TNA Wrestling and makes appearances. And he's also running around the indie circuit as he normally does and has been for a number of years. Now I could literally sit here and like recite his entire career to you guys, but I'm not going to do that just because that's not what this video is about. If you'd like to learn more about him, he's a Google search away and he's a super cool guy so I definitely recommend you check him out. So basically the way I became a fan of Shane Helms is really really simple. He had just started the Hurricane gimmick shortly before I actually got into wrestling as a whole and I saw him and I was just like a superhero who wrestles? Soul, that's so good. So becoming a Hurry fan was an instantaneous thing for me. I went on to learn more about his career before he became the Hurricane and continued to follow it. Also started following him on social media platforms and everything else as you do. Especially as I got older, I just found him to be a really cool, insightful, intelligent person and it just makes me all the more a fan, to be honest. So I mentioned earlier that obviously I've been a fan of his for well over 10 years now. I can't even pinpoint. I'm still thinking about it and I, I still can't pinpoint exactly how long I've been a fan, but point is, really long time. And throughout that time, prior to last year, I had only seen Shane wrestle once. And that was at a WWE house show in 2003. So when I found out that he was coming back to Australia, it felt like there was this huge, massive build up to this point where I finally actually have the chance to meet him. Now, I didn't know this at first either. It was actually announced that he was going to do a show in Perth. Now, the night before the Perth show, it had actually already been announced that Tommy Dreamer was coming down and bringing House of Hardcore to Melbourne, uh, hosted by OCW. And I was talking to a friend of mine who was in the wrestling business, and he thought it was a massive possibility that Shane would actually make an appearance there. And at the time, I was just like, gee, I really hope so. That would be awesome. But in the meantime, I'm scrambling to suddenly find a way to somehow get to Perth, even though I had like, fuck all cash. So Shane did make an appearance at the House of Hardcore, but at this time it was still all a secret. But the way I figured it out, and apparently a lot of people caught on to this too, I was comparing the promotional poster for Perth against uh, the guest for House of Hardcore that had not been announced yet. And I've done a lot of Photoshop work over the years. I'm used to cutting people out, making PSDs and whatever. And I was comparing the two and I'm just like, without a doubt, now I look at it, that's Shane's silhouette. He's gonna be there. So with the tickets sorted, excitement really started to set in. I can't even describe to you how excited I was knowing I was going to finally see Shane Helms wrestle again. But at the same time, a lot of hoping started because I was hoping there would also be some sort of a meet and greet where I could, well, meet him. And I remember speaking to my friend Josh Shooter about it. Now Josh Shooter is a local wrestler and he was actually scheduled to wrestle at House of Hardcore and he just goes to me, mate, don't worry, I'll help you meet Shane Helms, which was just so sweet to me. I was just so touched that he would try to do that for me. And again, thank you so very much, Josh. So fast forward to the week of the show. I had my car accident on the Monday and I was set to go to House of Hardcore on the Friday night. Obviously I don't need to tell you what kind of tremendous pain I was in but I just decided fuck this, I'm not gonna let this stop me from having 
what could be like the most awesome experience ever. I was still on painkillers at this point, so I stocked up on those, my partner and I left. For most of the ride up, I was pretty out of it, um, not due to the painkillers, just due to the fact that this week had been such a, a massive one for me. Um, so excitement didn't really set in until we lined up at the venue. I was actually planning on wearing my Hurricane cosplay to this event but obviously I chose not to just because of having my car accident. I just think it probably worked out better for everyone else so then I'm not essentially spoiling it for them. But I couldn't not support Shane so I came in one of my Hurricane shirts. It was actually one that my mum got from the market like years and years ago when I was still in high school. It's like one of those unlicensed ones but she knew I wouldn't care because it's got Shane on it and that's all that matters, really. Um, so then the venue opens up and we all pile inside and get to our seats and everything and before long the show starts, opened by, of course, none other than the legendary Tommy Dreamer. And man, seriously, nothing could have prepared me for the fact that Shane actually came out first. I was actually expecting him to come out mid-show, but now that I think about it, it makes sense that he came out first considering he had to go to Perth. Anyway, his music starts and seriously, everybody's on their feet cheering. Hearing. It was amazing! And there I was, so excited to finally see my favourite wrestler again after so many years. I definitely had moments where I was just sitting there going, is this real? Is he even real? Is that him over there? <laughs> and I was also fangirling over the fact that he was accompanied by his gorgeous fiance Karen, who I'm in love with. She's so beautiful. And honestly, after he came out, everything was just a bit of an excited blur to me. Like, I really cannot remember anything he did in the match now that I think about it I can't remember I was just so happy to see him in the flesh again just that excited but I do have some videos including my reaction as he was coming out so I'll play that for you now even though I am a little bit embarrassed <laughs> so be prepared for fan girliness <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! pretty excited. <laughs> so the match ends with Shane winning of course because he's awesome and the show goes on and eventually Josh Hood texts me. I'm thinking I might actually still have the text because I don't really clean out my inbox that much. I'm really lazy. Sorry I've just remembered that Josh actually inboxed me on Facebook so anyway he inboxes me. I've got the message here. Um, he goes come to the front now. Oi he's coming! Exclamation point. Many exclamation points. And I'm like where where? Is he in the merch? And he's like yeah run now go! So I go to my partner. We're going now. He's there. He's there. And I just remember walking basically the setup was say the chairs are all set up here and the rings over here so they're facing to the side and the merchandise sort of area they set up is in a little room well guess I guess it was more like a foyer I don't really know how to describe it anyway it was just directly behind the chairs and we went around the chairs and I just saw him there and going wow it's him that's so cool there were a few people lined up already but we were only literally a few people behind and I'm just standing there going I cannot believe this is actually happening <laughs> and of course I was standing there and I was taking photos of him just doing his thing and it didn't take long until it was our turn and I'm just like wow there he is 
Now forgive me, I won't be able to recall the conversation to a T because again, it was just an excited blur for me. But I do remember the first thing he said to me was, hi, how are you? Josh told me you were in a wreck and just expressing his concern. Now at this point, I should probably mention that I'm a pretty fortunate fan in the fact that Shane knows who I am and has known me for a very long time because I'm a huge stalker. Um, well, hopefully not, but um, the point is I've been fortunate enough to have a lot of interaction with him over the internet over many years. So he knows who I am and there's no real need for introductions, no formal introduction, I guess. Anyway, I don't remember the exact response I gave him, but it would have been something like, it sucked, but I'm okay and I'm here and thank you so much for asking. Now at this point, following the line procedures, I had walked around to the other side of the table in order to get a photo and Shane goes to me, oh, I haven't seen that t-shirt before, where did it come from? And I explained again that my mother had gotten it from the market and it was just one of those knockoff things, but I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> and again, I don't really remember too much about the conversation, but at some point um, my partner approached the table and I said, hey, this is my partner, this is Shane and this is Karen. This my partner. <laughs> then I remember the gentleman who was assisting with their table took the photo for me with Shane and Karen. <laughs> so exciting. Then I spoke to Karen for a little bit um, before moving on. I just remember walking away from the table and thinking to myself, wow, I, I can't believe that that finally happened. I finally got to meet Shane Helms. And it was then that I bumped into some of my wrestling friends, including Josh, who I proceeded to thank profusely. So we spent some time catching up with them before I decided, you know what, I've been waiting such a long time for this and in all my excitement, I completely forgot to get an autograph. I'm going back for more. So we joined the line again and got to the front and the guy who took the photo for me earlier remembered me and goes, do you know what, there was a girl here early that looks just like, you know, just making a joke of the fact that I'm there again. I'm just like, oh, really? <laughs> so we approached Shane and Karen once again and I don't remember the conversation again an excited blur for me. But I do remember saying to him that I really wanted an autographed picture to take home and I had a lot of trouble deciding between them. Actually, that was probably my most awkward moment. Now, originally I was gonna ask if he wouldn't mind signing the plaque I had brought along. Now, this plaque is really special to me because before his official website, shanehelms.com, was shanehelms.com, it was actually called The Sugar Rush and it was a fan site dedicated to him. And one year, when I was still in high school, they had two competitions going on. Now, competition one, was literally a costume contest dress up like the hurricane and he picks the best one and contest two was a creative one so come up with some cool fan art to do with him and again he picks the winner I actually won that and I got a plaque to commemorate it which was super cool and it was signed by him and everything and of course that's really really special to me and it was one of the only things I've ever won in my life, so that made it extra special. But in that moment, I just decided, no, I would rather support Shane's career and actually pay for a photo. So anyway, back to the fact that I was having trouble picking between them. But eventually, I just decided to go with one of my favourite photos of him because I just think it's super spiffy. So this is what I chose, and I know that you know I'm right about it being spiffy. <laughs> so as you can see, he's written to Bianca, what's up with that, which is super awesome, and signed his name, and I'm really super duper excited over the fact that I actually own this signature now. <laughs> um, I always thought it was a pretty cool one, you know, incorporating the whole hurricane-ness in there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really bad at describing stuff. So after he saw my photo, I sheepishly asked if it was okay if I got some selfies with him and Karen. <laughs> I felt honestly a bit selfish in the moment, but again, I just, an opportunity like that I've been waiting a really long time for, so Hopefully they understood. <laughs> and I know they did because they were very, very gracious to me, very, very kind, just beautiful, warm people. And that's another reason why I have been wanting to meet Shane and Karen for such a long time. And the experience as a whole, they were all that and more. They were just gorgeous. So I took my selfie with Shane, no problems there. And when I went to go take one with Karen, 
I was embarrassing one of those people that just for some reason could not get their phone to take a photo even though they use it all the time, every day, all the time, every day. So embarrassing, but luckily she was really, really good about it. So yeah, that was the end of the um, second round. So after all that, the show resumed. My partner and I went to watch it. In the meantime, Shane and Karen were packing up their table. My painkillers had started to wear off by this point and I was just staying there thinking, you know what, I've done what I came here to do. Um, I think I'm ready to go. But we still hung around for a bit longer because at that time Victoria and Mickey James were wrestling and I was pretty excited to see them as well but I definitely just, I couldn't get into it as much as I wanted again because I wasn't feeling very good. But point being we are hanging around and we noticed that Shane and Karen were leaving the venue and they were kind enough to say their goodbyes to us and that was it. That was the whole night. Uh, we left shortly after that and obviously I left with a massive smile on the, my face despite the fact that I was in a lot, a lot of pain. It was well worth toughing it out to meet them. Well worth it. So fast forward to the next day and I put my photos up from the night before on Facebook all excited and my friends were really, really happy for me. And I also got comments from both Shane and Karen which was really, really kind. I'm just going to go through and look for them now. So this is the first one I put up with both Shane and Karen and Karen commented on the photo saying... Um, it was a pleasure to meet you Bianca Bella in person versus just on social media. A beautiful soul you are and we hope to see you again in the future love heart. Which I just, oh, I was so happy. That was just one of the sweetest things I've ever heard. She's beautiful. Thank you Karen. Now I also uploaded the photo to Twitter even though I'm not much of a Twitter person. But hey, I just did it anyway. And Shane retweeted it and commented, thank you. Great seeing you as you can see. <laughs> so yeah, that was pretty much the whole experience. Um, if you guys found it interesting, if you enjoyed it, could you please support my channel by giving the video a like and favorite it and subscribing to me and all that fun stuff. I'm trying to grow my channel. Um, so your report would be greatly immensely appreciated. I do plan on doing a lot more videos like this in the future, not just cosplay stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. <laughs> Bye.